Hey YouTube, History Trackers here. Thought I'd stop and show you guys a few things that I got since the last video I made. Um, can't remember if I had those quarters there or not last time, but I bought some more constitutional silver. Um, got a bunch of nickels. Uh, 60 nickels. Less than spot value, of course. Right on. Um, then... Got a bunch of mercury dimes. There ended up being a what was this one? A sixty-four, I think. I don't know. Somehow that got mixed in there, but still silver, so no big deal. Um, and then got some Delft clay with the video that I don't have anything to play it in. Um, my girlfriend thought maybe our Wii might play it, but I'm not sure. I haven't tried yet. That'll be something cool for me to be able to pour some 3D things with the rings and the clay. I probably won't be doing that for a while, though, because I have to save up some money. We're going on vacation, and... The girlfriend's kind of clamping down on my spending. But one of the biggest reasons we're here, I wanted to show you this. This is a purchase that I made the other day. It's a 1896 Hungarian commemorative Corona. One, one Corona. Um, it had the original packaging with it, the original box and stuff, and I... Thought that was just kind of unheard of, so I got into a, the auction. Um, when I first found it, it was at 99 cents. I didn't bid at all. I just watched until right at the end. Um, it was at, I think, $129. And um, kind of based off the prices of some of them that have sold in the UK, I um, waited till 9 seconds to go and then... I bid two hundred two fifty, I think, and I ended up getting it for one fifty three. So I thought that was a pretty good buy. Let me see if I can get this package open here, and I'll show you guys what I'm what I'm talking about. Okay, kind of got something set up holding the camera. I need to get a little tripod of some sort. That's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, here's the original packaging. Well, not this, obviously, but let's get this guy open. Let's see what that looks like. Wow. That is neat. I didn't even know they did stuff like that back then. can't really read what that says, but I'm sure it's in Hungarian anyways. <laughs> I remember reading uh, about what it said, but I can't remember the, it was the name of the box maker. Wow. Yeah, it's like uh, velvet lined. It has edge lettering too. Really awesome. See if I can get a real good close up of that.
Sorry for the little blip in the screen. I had to shut the f camera off a second. Somebody came to the door. Um, anyways, yeah, I've noticed with these with these coins that look like the um, the figures on the back. Like the more worn the coin got, the more that these guys looked like zombies, <laughs> which was kind of cool. But I was trying to find one that was in pretty good shape because it looked like it was kind of hard to find one that was in good shape. Um, yeah, I don't know what that might grade at. Um, really wouldn't have any judgment if you guys have any opinion what that might grade at. Let me know. I, I don't know if I don't know if it's a good idea to send something like like that off to be graded, or just go ahead and keep it in this original this original container. We'd hate to get the coin graded and then lose the container somehow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was my my new big big purchase as far as um, coins go. This is the most expensive one that I've bought so far. Of course, I've only been collecting for a couple of years now, but yeah, I'm starting to notice more uh, more of these older, really artistic-looking coins. So, yeah, I'll probably be buying more of those in the future. But, yeah, this is uh, quite a deal, this, this little presentation box. It's kind of cool. It's got the imprint of the date on that side of it backwards. I have to try to try to line that up as best I can when I put it back. Oh, I see. It's imprinted as a date from the back, from back here. I thought it was a date from the coin. Yeah, duh. But yeah, anyways, there she is. Pride and joy, my new pride and joy. If you like what you see, Hit like and subscribe and maybe you'll see some more. Thanks for watching guys.